What do you know? It's finally Father's Day! Mwah! The day of our annual father-son tea-off, Pops! No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual father-son golf tournament? <laughs> you betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me. Just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm going to get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tears off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa! Oh, for the love of Mike, laddie, are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now. No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. As quick as messy on dry land. Are you that out of shape, would you? Get out and about and feel the wind beneath your kilt, like a real woodpecker would. Dolphins. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. That's my ball, there, boy. -o. Better stop laying about. I'm beating you, laddie. <laughs> I'll bet it's a hole in one. I'm guessing the trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. Merciful divots, that was a beauty of a hit, son. I can say is you'll have to play the ball where it lies, Boyo. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. With that shot, I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you? It is not my ball. It is an English ball, and I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. Wow, 
What do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the McPeckers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> Come on, swing already. Come on, come on. Moody boy, speak to me. Speak to your old dad. <laughs> I hate that this to him. I pushed him too hard. I don't deserve to wear this cap. I don't deserve this one as well, Cappy. Son. I only want you to know. Uh, oh, no. thank the great kilt giver. You're all right. Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, <coughs> I might be back to my old self if I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You weren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boy -o. That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year. <laughs> Did not have the space cadet splinter. Come in, splinter. I have the killer asteroid in sight. Roger that, cadet knothead. We have to do something before it destroys the Earth. My Zach Zobar East Alien Hunter Fomerang should do the job. Yay! We saved the Earth! Uh oh! Ah! There's only so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not gonna go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zach Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please? Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. Forty-five bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding buzzard scouts. Uh, space cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the end. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zach Zilbar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? I went to uh, Camp Folsom. I mean Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <laughs> Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bora. We came here to be space cadets. Huh? Oh, sure. In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti-gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, gravity. Wait! What about seatbelts? 
What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? That's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh, boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spend hours making a trap merit badge. We can cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a 10-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. They have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> oh, drop a boulder, yeah! Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> What are you little buzzard scouts doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides, like canoeing or horseback riding. Or how about a rocket to the moon? Yay! Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need here on Earth. in T minus 10. Nine! Zero! That's one small step for woodpeckers and one giant leap towards my vacation. <laughs> Take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. 45 bucks and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back. Please. <laughs> Goodbye, Counselor Buzz. Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar summer space camp? Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy. Let's see. I pack there and there. And wow, I pecked there, all right. Okay, Scouts, that ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <laughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Unpack trees, and they're all for me. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> oh, why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I better head back to civilization. <laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... 
<laughs> Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why? I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. Flat the river get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbor. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I... I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally. Friends, neighbors and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Raised pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. <laughs> Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. I stand a good chance of winning Speed of the Year Award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The Speed of the Year Award. We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> no, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter! I am the Woody Woodpecker! No! No! I am Speed of the Year! I am Speed of the Year! H hello? Doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? It's that woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, doctor. I think I have a plan. Woody, wake up. I have a treat for you. My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Woody. 
Would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, Bob. <sighs> ah, something should never change. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> What's your name again? I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see, common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker, common woodpecker, common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. <coughs> Imagine that, a common woodpecker trying to eat a shave all Hmm. Enough, huh? Wow! Did you see that? I say, is that who I think it is? Oh, yes! It's Lord Crinkle! You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player. The famous rich polo player. Rich! Get him! Yumpin' Yiminy. It's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player. Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a maitre d'. Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Over here, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Where? Where? Who is this? Now, now stay still, whoever you are. Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? <laughs> Look at this filth. Now clean that fork. I think it's clean now, Duke. <laughs> Still dirty. I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen. The Queen. The Queen. The Queen! Oh, royalty! Big money! Ooh, the Queen! <laughs> Welcome to Shave Oli, Your Majesty! Oh, you may kiss my hand! that you are 
are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... Knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, you woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> hey, dub you, Sir Freeloader. Hey, <laughs> dub you, Sir Moot. Hey, <laughs> dub you, Sir Loop. I dub you, Sir Slacker! <laughs> and now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on Channel 1 and ends on Channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious like. Don't have to open, don't have to open, don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand. 
But, Captain, sir... Mm. Now listen here. You may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and... <laughs> ah! That critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Got you. Demoted to pool boy. But, Captain, sir... Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? Oh, no, you don't, you freeloading feed bag. <laughs> Be motion to waiter. Now, hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy. I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a fireworks spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I know, I'm being demoted. To anchor. Out you go, silly little woodpecker.
Okay, enough with the funny. I need to have my sleep. Poor little woodpecker. He has fallen from his nest. Nighty night, woodpecker. <laughs> Looks like we're both up, huh? Oh well, I might as well have a late night snack. Hmm. Oh, let's see. There's cheese, and ham, and pickles, and tomatoes, and a little bit of onion. Oh, yoy. I just can't wait to sink my tusks into this sand bit. <gasps> Who? What? Where's the... But... Hmm. I don't even remember eating all that stuff. Ooh. I better get some sleep. My mind is going all kerplonky. Atta boy, come and get it. <laughs> Who is yingling my bell? Night mail man. I don't know of any night mail. Special delivery. Jumping Jupiter, just what I need. Like a boat more than a fjord. No more sleepless nights for me, Woodpecker. Weirdo digging up my lawn. No, I don't know who it is. Just come and get them out of here. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? Aha! Food baker. So you're the weirdo trench digger. All right, buddy, let's go downtown. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Uh, at least it's nice and quiet here. I can be getting the rest I need. By me. <laughs> 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 
don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Why I lie for you, I cheat for you, wash your garments a lot. Why should I have to do your dirty work? Because I'm a buzzard, which gives me the right to boss little boys like you around. That's why. Where do I sign up to beat the champ? Why, right here, my good sap. I, I mean, sir. Of course, there is a nominal entrance fee of $5 that entitles you a chance to beat me, the champ. Hmm. Aw, oh, shoot. I seem to be a tad short. Do you suppose I might use my fine automobile as an entrance fee? Buddy, you got yourself a contest. <laughs> Too bad. You left a 7-10 split. You'll never get that. <laughs> what? That's impossible. But not improbable. <laughs> oh, look. The space shuttle. Where? I don't see the space shuttle. Huh? Say, what kind of an alley is this? That was a perfect shot. Perhaps you need corrective lenses. Ho-ho! <laughs> Steve Reich! No, 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 no. I don't need glasses to see what I'm seeing. <laughs> I think there's some cheating going on. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> now that's a split. <laughs> Ooh, you're not doing so good. Chalk me down for another <laughs> strike. Woodpecker. 
strike. But too late, pal. Buzz Buzzard is still champion. And that four-wheeled beauty out front is all mine! <laughs> Come on, Tweaky. You and me are off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. <laughs> $5,000 reward. Larceny, robbery, unlawful toenail clips. Why that no good thief and cheat? Hello, operator, get me the police. That's right, officer, the Buzz Buzzard. He's here at the bowling alley. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Officer, he's wanted for cussing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, huh? Uh huh. For littering, for jaywalking, for bouncing checks, for petty larceny, fraud, for bank robbery. Yeah, well, that's really swell, pal, but we're pretty busy here with serious cases right now, and, uh. But, officer, he's parked in a red zone. What? <laughs> it's not how it looks. Step out of the vehicle, sir. It's not my fault. I was just. <laughs> Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I said, step out of the vehicle! You have the right to shut your big yap. If you waive your right to shut your big yap, it may be shut for you. So long. Thanks for the reward. See ya. Hate to be ya. <laughs> We go on the air in 15 minutes. Now go find me some wildlife for my wildlife show. Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <gasps> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. Not today. The pie's particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. <laughs> Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga! Helga! I got me a penguin! And it's got a little hat! I like that! Let's shoot it! Money! Back in a 
a flash. The gumbo's decidedly delish. Hold on there! Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops. Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. Marty! Marty! Do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> this is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. <laughs> Marty! So long, Helga! Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show! Marty! 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 You're fired! Oh, no, 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 no. Today, Monty's Magical Wilderness Show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. There's nothing like a barbecuing neighbor. Say, Wally. <gasps> you stay away from me, Woodpecker. This is my barbecue. <laughs> Prank phone. It's the next best thing to eating there. Oh, fur. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Woodpecker, get out of my yard! Gee, Wally, I don't think your phone goes that far. <laughs> Let's do lunch again real soon, Wally. <laughs> Are you annoyed by a woodpecker who constantly troubles you to your wit's end? Of course you are. And does he look like this? Yeah, you bet. That's the guy, all right. Right there. I thought so. Well, have you tried... The silent treatment? Well, I guess Apparently not. Apparently not, Einstein. Many have tried and many have failed. But 
the new Dr. Doug Nuts technique really works. Yeah? Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, a skeptic, eh? Well, let's see the doctor illustrate the technique. So, Dr. Nuts, how's it going? I said, how's it going? Yeah, I'm not saying a word. <gasps> it really works. See? This, too, can be you for only 17 payments of $39.95. Hello, Nutco Inc.? Yeah, send over a silent treatment right away. <gasps> oh, boy. Silent treatment instructional audio. The silent treatment. Well, I wonder what's on the old agenda for today. I think I'll play golf today. Or... Darn flowers, how's a guy supposed to golf? Hmm, this tree's right in the way of my shot. Well, I'm not a woodpecker for nothing. <laughs> Don't forget rule number 17. Uh, I'm not saying a word. Atta boy! Wally's gonna be mad. Better not let on I was playing golf. Uh, gee, uh, what happened, Wally? I, I heard a big crash. Uh, <laughs> uh, lucky the tree didn't fall on you. It's not that big a deal, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I admit it. It was me, Wally. But I'm good for it. Not now, but I'm good for it. Later. Oh, so it's the silent treatment, eh? Well, we'll just see about that, Buster. I'll break you, or I'm not fit to call myself a woodpecker. you down? Is it a problem with your neighbor? Is this walrus giving you the silent treatment? And does he look like this? It's him! I thought so. Then what you need is Dr. Doug Nutt's anti-silent treatment technique. Ah, oh, pshaw. Go peddle your papers. Oh, another wise guy, eh? Well, I'll just let the doctor illustrate the technique. Say hello, doctor. Oh, Dr. Nuts. <clears throat> knock, knock. Knock, knock. I said, knock, knock. Who's there? <gasps> I'm not saying a word. It works. That's right. For just 17 easy payments of $39.95, you'll get a reward winning book of 1,001 knock, knock jokes guaranteed to break anyone's silent treatment or even their will to live. Ah, fooey. Who needs a book? I got a thousand and two knock-knock jokes right here in the old bean. <sighs> Ain't it swell? I'm finally rid of the woodpecker. Oh, no, you're not. Hey, 
Hey, Wally, how's about a couple of words for your old buddy? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> 